John wants to sell his scooter. He gets two offers, one at rupees 12,000 cash and the other at a credit of 12,880 to be paid after eight months at the rate of 18% per annum. Which one is the better offer? By just looking at it, we can, you know, you may say that rupees 12,880 at credit is the better offer. But that is not the case because it is at credit. To find which one is the better offer, we will have to first find out what is the present worth of 12,880. So the present worth will be equals to the, you know, the amount minus the true discount, isn't it? So let's calculate the true discount. What is true discount? Well, true discount is equal to the formula is amount into N into R upon 100 plus N into R. This is the formula. So let's put in the values. So this is equals to amount is 12,880 times N is 8 months. And converting it into years, it will give us 8 by 12 years. Right? So times 18 upon 100 plus 8 by 12 times 18. Right? So this is equal to, when you solve all of this, you will get 1380 rupees as the true discount. Now let's calculate the principal worth, that is the present worth. So amount is again 12880 minus the true discount, that's 1380. Right? So this is equal to 11,500. Right? So this is the present worth of rupees 12,880 at credit. Now which one is the better offer? Well, he is getting 12,000 in hand in first offer and in another offer he is getting the, you know, the present value of that money which will be paid after 8 months is 11,500. So now you can tell that 12,000 is much a better offer, isn't it? So option A is the correct answer. A trader owes a merchant rupees 10,028 due one year hence. The trader wants to settle the account after three months. If the rate of interest is 12% per annum, how much cash should he pay? So this is the timeline. The trader wants to you know, settle the account after three months, right? So here. So how much cash should the trader pay? Well, the trader should pay the cash that is worth nine months before of 10,028, right? So the time period is actually 9 by 12 years. Let's calculate the principal worth. So the principal worth or the present worth P is equals to the amount minus the true discount. Right? So the amount is 10,028 minus the true discount. That's P N R upon 100. So again we have P times N is 9 by 12 times R. The rate is 12 upon we have 100 so this cancels out we have a p here so we have p is equals to 10,028 minus 9p by 100 right so this goes to the left 9p by 100 so we have 100p plus 9p that's 109p by 100 is equals to 10,028 so i can write p is equals to 10,028 upon 109 times 100, right? If you calculate it, you will get 9,200 rupees, right? So, he should pay 9,200 rupees and that is option B. A man buys a watch for rupees 1,950 in cash and sells it for rupees 2,200 at the credit of one year. If the rate of interest is 10% per annum, the man gains 55, gains 50, loses 30 or gains 30 rupees. So choose the correct answer. So we have been given the cost price of this watch which is 1950, right? What would be the selling price? Well the selling price will be the present worth of 2200 rupees at a credit of one year, right? So I can write the selling price is equals to the present worth. Let us find the present worth. Well, present worth is actually the amount minus the 
true discount right so i can write p is equals to amount is 2200 minus true discount is p times n times r upon 100 so times 1 times the rate is 10 upon 100 right so this cancels out i have p plus p by 10 that's 11 p by 10 is equals to 2200 right so p is equals to 2200 divided by 11 that's 200 times 10 that's 2000 right so the present worth of rupees 2200 is 2000 rupees right so the selling price i can write as 2000 right so the cost price is less than the selling price so this person made a profit and the profit is equals to you know 2000 minus 1950 and that is 50 rupees so the correct answer is he gains 50 rupees 20 rupees is the true discount on 260 rupees due after a certain time what will be the true discount on the same sum due after half of the former time the rate of interest being the same let us first write the formula for calculating the true discount based on the amount so the true discount is a times n times r upon 100 plus n times r now we have been given two cases in the first case the true discount is 20 on the amount of 260 rupees after a certain time let that time be n and the rate of interest be r so we get putting the values into the formula we get 20 equals to 260 times nr upon 100 plus nr now in the second case the time is halved rest of the things are same so again putting the values in the formula we get this considering the true discount as x rest of the values are put in the formula right so i can modify this x is equal to 260 times n r by 2 divided by we have 100 plus n r by 2 so it can be written as 200 plus n r divided by 2 this 2 and this 2 gets cancelled out i have x is equal to 260 times n r upon 200 plus n r okay so we have two equations this is equation 2 and this is equation 1 if i divide equation 1 by 2 i think we can get some solution so equation 1 by 2 right so we get 20 by x on the left hand side is equal to 260 times n r divided by 100 plus n r upon i have again 260 n r so 260 n r divided by 200 plus n r okay this gets cancelled out i can write it as 20 by x is equals to this 200 plus n r goes up so 200 plus n r upon i have 100 plus n r okay now we cannot cancel out the values n r so we need to find out what is the value of n r and that can be found out from equation 1 let's solve this 20 times 100 plus n r so this is 2000 plus 20 n r is equals to 260 n r right so i have 2000 is equals to 260 n r minus 20 n r that's 240 n r and 2000 by 240 will give you the value of n r and that will be equal to this cancelling out the zeros 8 times 3 is 24 and 8 times 25 is 200 so the value of n r is 25 by 3 let us put it here and get the value of x so i have 20 by x is equal to 200 plus i have 25 by 3 divided by 100 plus 25 by 3 isn't it so x is equal to 20 times 325 divided by 625 right so if you calculate that you will get x is equal to 10.4 so this was such a long problem the answer anyway has come out as option b